Hi, William Hoen here. So I'm very excited to talk about this game. This is a dream come true, to be honest. Uh, it's called Dusk Fall. Uh, it's made by Victor Domonier. Probably butchered that name, but it's the same guy who made uh, Moonshades, which was kind of a real-time dungeon crawler. This one is turn-based and it's party-based, like, you know, Wizardry, Etrian Odyssey uh, and things like that. I'm a big fan of dungeon crawlers and I've been asking uh, for a good dungeon crawler on mobile for quite some time and finally I can say that we have one. There is some caveats though, we'll come back to it, but um... Anyway, so you start your adventure, you can create a perfectly custom character or you can choose three uh, out of three pre-made character. I went with Mage because uh, I thought it was probably like the default one in some way because the, the other one are uh, chosen after, you know. The, the first one that is proposed is uh, the Mage. So uh, we are greeted by a pretty nice intro to the game with some voice acting. There won't be actually, I don't know, I'm like 3-4 hours in, but um, I haven't got any more voice acting than that. Uh, the rest is just uh, text on the screen. So this is grid based, this is a dungeon crawler, you move grid to grid. Uh, you get into not random encounters, you can see the enemies on the screen, you get to them and a turn-based fight occurred. Uh, during your adventures, I won't spoil much, uh, the footage I got is uh, all from the first 30 minutes of the game, so uh, you, you don't have to uh, be afraid to be spoiled here, you, you won't be. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll probably do some cuts and show you a bit what it's like when you have um, a party member. Uh, right now, in my game, I have four party members. Uh, now, I don't know if you can create your party members, you know, down the line, but for now, it's just you meet this NPC somewhere and they join your cause and they, they become a party member. So uh, quite a bit of lore, quite a bit of stories, and quite a bit of system. Um, and and this, this is where the game... The game is free to play. You can download it right now on uh, iOS and most likely Android. I haven't checked. Uh, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not that great. But um, you can download it for free and I would have hoped that um, there was a one-time payment that you could do to uh, unlock the full game, but this is not how it works. Uh, the game is free to play and down the line you unlock a cash shop where you can buy all sorts of, of things. Uh, mostly, uh, for me, the biggest thing I want is inventory space. So yeah, you kind of have to pay to get more inventory space. And this is not something I am, uh, I am vibing with. Uh, let, let's, let's just say it like that. Will I end up buying more inventory space? Yeah. Yeah, I will probably do it because the game is really good. Um, it's really fun to explore. There's secrets everywhere. Uh, so this is amazing. There is a bunch of system to upgrade your equipment. To um, to you, you can grind a lot if you want or not uh, because you have an option to make the monsters respawn and monster drop quite a bit of loot so if you want to farm you can always turn on the the respawning monster option and the monster will just respawn and you can farm them get some more levels some more skills uh, better weapon and armor and there's a bunch of of those uh, so you know it, the game here is great what we have is amazing my 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 problem is the the pricing model the monetization of the game this is 
this is my complaint. Um, now I understand it's made by one dude, and you gotta, you know, you gotta pay the bills somehow. And I, I don't, I haven't seen anything like sketchy or. It's not it's not a scam is what I'm trying to say the, the dev is not scamming you is selling you some some stuff some um, Yeah, like like the inventory space uh, To get money, but I would have been glad to pay $30 to get this game in in full You know to get to get the whole game and now I have to you know buy buy the game piece by piece uh, it's it's not too much my uh, my thing, but anyway, you can see here now a uh, a combat. Uh, this is like the very first one, so this is all like tutorialized. Um, and uh, I'm gonna make a cut after this fight to show you a bit uh, how the systems unlock and what 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 you're in for after like. After the, the tutorial phase is um, is done, so if you want, if you don't want to see anything past the tutorial, just just leave, I suppose. Um, go enjoy the game, try it out. It's free to play. Uh, I really like it. I think it's an amazing dungeon crawler. I'm very glad I can play one, um, you know, on the go. That that's great. Uh, I just wish it was monetized differently. Uh, but yeah, so let's let's go see what the game looks like after uh, a bit more time, J just like 20, 25 minutes uh, in the future. Alright, so now we are a bit later where we interact with the arcane box. Um, the game features some crafting stuff. It took me a while to understand it, but you know, so to, to, to make... Uh, you can you can find the recipe uh, in, in, in the world and uh, for example to make a small potion you, you put a flask and a mushroom and you're gonna get a small potion and for a medium potion you put like two small potion plus you know some kind of fairy dust I think it's called yellow dust but um and then you're you're gonna get a um, a medium potion now here I am one party member with me like I've said in my current uh, game I have four uh, well, we are four total. You can see there's room for two others. Um, and while you, uh, while, while they're doing their combat thing, I'm gonna talk about a few systems that are gonna be unlocked apart from the arcane box, which is pretty pretty important because this is where you'll do your crafting, upgrading your equipment, and stuff like that. Um, I've understood most of them. If, if you have any question, I can probably answer them. Alright, so one of the new features that unlocked as you go through the game is the uh, map completion. Once you've explored a map, you know, 100%, you're getting some kind of achievement. It gives you, you know, XP and some, uh, some loot. So, you know, it can be equipment, can be gold and stuff like that. There's the um, bestiary where you can, with some special orb, you can modify certain attribute of certain monsters. So, like the cultist, uh, I made it so I can get additional loot chances. So, this is something that is uh, that is a neat feature. To, to be able to customize a bit the, the difficulty. Uh, here, here's one feature that I really don't like. Uh, you can watch all those ads every day to get um, the item. So if I watch an ad now, it's gonna take 30 seconds and I'm gonna get the first item and then I can watch another ad and get the second item and it's every day. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of ads in game. And as in uh, every every mobile game, uh, 
there is a daily reward so every time you log into the game you'll get a nice little gift uh, that one I don't mind it's uh, it's free loot so why not plus it's you know it keeps you into the game I suppose gives you a reason to come back uh, every day so um, the only thing we still need to take a look at is the cash shop uh, I'm just gonna let this this fight play out I suppose and then it's gonna be in the cash shop um, I know that this video is all over the place uh, I have a series called a convoluted talk about XYZ game I mean that that's not the name of the series but uh, it's a convoluted talk and so this is what I do I convolutely talk about games this is this this is my this is my life this is what I do so um, anyway here is the cash shop so you can buy a lot of things for quite a bit of money uh, the biggest thing is uh, $30 you can get quite a bit of gold uh, some rest elixirs that will refill your health when you when you rest there is a rest mechanic I think I haven't talked about the rest mechanic um, but basically you um, you you get food in the dungeon and then at some point you can attribute some portions of food to every party member and then they're they're gonna get some uh, some health back uh, you can buy gems gems which are used to um, buy inventory space uh, the ads uh, I talked about them earlier it's uh, it, you know it is what it is uh, but yeah you can buy up to a hundred dollars of gems and socket runes and and food and resurrect orb I hope I'm, I'm showing the inventory space because this is the, you can even buy gold yeah you can even buy gold uh, healing potions so uh, come on yeah and so you can for 200 uh, 260 gems you'll have 10 more inventory space um, in your bags and then the storage uh, chest it's it's something else so this is definitely something to keep in mind when uh, playing dusk fall uh, I you know like I said many many times over this video I'm not a fan but I can tell you I'm gonna keep playing the game I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some some inventory space because I'm always fighting with that uh, there is a lot of loot in the game there is a lot of items a lot of crafting items you need some space and um, unfortunately you kind of have to pay to um, you can have to pay to get inventory space this is how the game is monetized so and and I understand games aren't free. It's it's all good. It's just you know, I I, I would love to just pay for the game and and that's it. So anyway, and as you can see, bunch of quests to um, to complete, um, a bunch of NPCs to meet. Uh, it's it's really good. Once again, I, I keep hammering the, the the cash shop and how it's monetized and and all of that. But um, the systems in the game, they're, they're amazing, it plays well, it, it's fun, the, the music is good, the sound effects are good, I like how it looks, I like how it plays, I like the, the interaction of all different systems and all the options we have when we level up our, our characters. Um, you can specialize in a bunch of different types of magic you can put your point in a bunch of different uh, not skills but you know uh, attributes uh, it, it's it's a, it's a real dungeon crawler it's a, it's a real first person grid based dungeon crawler and it's it's really nice so I, I do highly recommend it go go look out Duskfall and form your own opinion it, it's free to play so just go download it the file is small even it's like 400 meg or something if I remember correctly so um, it, it, it you know 
it's not even a big file to download. So go try it out and let me know what you think of it. Uh, but uh, yeah, for now, it's enough. Go do something else. Go play games. Bye-bye.